Hello everyone, welcome to Motivation Medicos. My name is Mulkit Gupta, and in this video, we are going to talk about the venous drainage of face. So, without wasting time, let's get started. So, the venous drainage of face we need to study. Okay, so let's start. So, first of all, let's see above the orbit the veins which are up present above the orbit. So, if we uh, name it, what will be the name of that or uh, vein? Supra orbital means above the orbit will be supra and that is orbital supra orbital vein and the supra trochlear vein these two veins will together form and will uh, form a vein the name of that vein will be angular vein angular vein so supra trochlear and supra you can see that supra trochlear and supra orbital will join to form angular vein now this angular vein will continue you can see this angular vein will continue and it will become the facial vein. So the continuation of the angular vein uh, becomes the facial vein. So this is first part. Now secondly, uh, let's consider in front of auricle. That means in front of the ear. So there are two veins present. The first one is the uh, superficial temporal vein and the other one is maxillary vein. These two, that is superficial temporal vein any maxillary vein will together form the retromandibular vein so you can see in this diagram that this maxillary vein and the that superficial temporal vein will together form and form this vein that is retromandibular vein and this retromandibular vein as you can say as you can see that it is going downward and dividing into two divisions that is anterior and as well as posterior division so we can see that retromandibular vein has two divisions that is anterior and posterior division now this uh, we can see that interior division first of all study uh, let's study about the anterior division this anterior uh, division of the retromandibular vein joins with the facial vein and form the common facial vein so this anterior division with the facial vein and form the common facial vein so we can see that is anterior division of retromandibular vein with the facial vein forms the common facial vein and now this common facial vein will now drain into internal jugular vein you can see in the diagram as well that uh, this common facial vein will continue and uh, drain into the internal jugular vein so ultimately what happens that supratrochlear supraorbital comes become angular vein will continue as the facial vein it the end with the anterior division of the retromandibular vein this will form the common facial vein and common facial vein will going to drain into internal jugular vein while on the opposite uh, other side that is uh, front of auricle the superficial temporal vein and the maxillary vein joins to form retromandibular it gives two branches anterior and posterior anterior we already considered now the posterior division so this posterior division of the retromandibular vein joins with one more vein and the name of that vein is a posterior auricular vein this posterior auricular vein it uh, it joins as you can see that while posterior division of retromandibular vein join with the posterior auricular vein and form external jugular vein you can see in the diagram as well this, this it joins with the posterior auricular vein and this is posterior division of the retromandibular vein forms the external jugular vein this is our external jugular vein and it is draining this external jugular vein will going to drain into subclavian vein so you can see the external jugular vein will drain into the subclavian vein so this is uh, in the in front of auricle that is superficial temporal with the maxillary vein forms the uh, retromandibular it will gives two branches anterior and posterior and now the posterior division join uh, join with the posterior auricular vein and will going to form the external jugular vein which will going to drain ultimately into the subclavian vein so that's all about the venous drainage of the face hope you like it if you like it please like share and subscribe our channel thank you guys